Hi, this is JP Morgan. We're out here at this wonderful vintage air museum. We got great airplanes from World War II. I've got beautiful Erica Gore. She's fabulous, she's beautiful. We're gonna do some shots of her on all these different old airplanes. A little bit of vintage stuff, a little bit of modern stuff. So kind of a fashion shoot together, but we're gonna look at that new Baja B6. How can we combine that with Drex Sun, balance those two together and get some great shots. You can shoot in Drex Sun. There's absolutely no reason you cannot shoot in Drex Sun. We're gonna show you how you can do that today. Like right now, I'm shooting in direct sun with this reflector that's falling in and out on my face, in and out, in and out. It's like flipping pancakes. Somebody hold it. Somebody hold the reflector Somebody over there. It. So let's get started and see what we can do. You know, there's a lot of different ways to shoot with strobes out in the sun. I'm going to show you a couple of them here today. This subject lends itself to combining direct sun with strobes. The airplane is really dark because it's going to look great in direct sun. We can also position it in a position where we kind of get that sun raking along the side of it. We now need to just combine our model in front of that airplane in direct sun. Posing your talent in relationship to the airplane is probably the first and most critical decision you're going to make. I like to put my talent in a backlight situation. Unfortunately today, that's not going to work because if I turn around and look into a backlight situation, I'm looking straight into a bunch of building stuff that I don't want to see in the background. I really want to see into that open blue sky, so consequently I'm going to have to balance my strobes with the daylight and make that work. So I'm going to turn her and allow the sun to cross light her from the right. Part of the reason I'm using strobes on this and not a translucent is I want that deep blue background. I don't want to put a translucent on it and open up for the exposure and let that background blow out. To work with strobes in the sun, you really need a strobe that is powerful enough to overpower the sun. The new Baja B6 is just that. It's 600 watt seconds, gives us plenty of power so we can overpower the sun. Here's our first image with no help from the strobes. It's very dark on her face. And now let's take a look at how we're going to light this thing. We put a Dynalite parabolic light modifier on the B6 and brought it around to the sun side of our talent. Her hat is low, so it's going to allow us to light for a little lower angle, kind of come up underneath her. I think we can blend this so it feels like an open fill bouncing into her face. I don't mind the fall off we get under her hat as it gradates up to her forehead. I see the shadow line on the front of her dress like I knew we would. We either crop that out or we're going to have to retouch that so it kind of blends it just a little bit. We shot a lot in this first setup. So here's some of the images, both full body and tight. Just give you an idea of how that strobe's working and how we're blending it with the sun. When I pull back to a full length shot, you see the sun area on her face and the shadow on the ground. The strobes open up her face and give us a really nice look. For our next setup, I'm going to move her so the sun is almost side lighting her figure. First take a look at the image without the strobes. Then we added a light on the opposite side of the sun, camera right, in order to create a nice fill light on her face. It's believable because you don't see the shadow on the airplane, you don't really see the shadow on the ground, so you can kind of get away with crossing the light from different directions. The plane in the background is dark, but not too dark, it's a nice balance. Let's look at some of the images in this setup. We're still using that parabolic light modifier, it's a GSB 71, just a great look. It's even light from edge to edge, gives you a really pretty highlight on the face, just a gorgeous softbox to work with. In this last setup for this series, I'm going to move her around. We're not in direct backlight, we're kind of a side light. Again, I've got that hat on her head, so it shades her face. We've got a strong side light on her body. You see a very dark image when we start off. When we get a correct exposure on the dress, her face is very, very dark. So now, there's our setup. We're going to add a light on her face to open up those shadows. Just a pretty light to kind of glow. It's going to be on that camera right-hand side. I know it's not on the same side of the sun, but bringing it in from that camera right-hand side, I can just make it look like it's a bounce, filling the side of her face, opening up the shadows, has a pretty look. And then we're going to add a, a light on that airplane in the back. We're going to put a V4 back there, just a direct flash that'll open up the side of the airplane. We'll have to retouch that out when we go to do our final image, but it'll take care of that airplane in the background. I put the airplane back there far enough so that it was just a nice element behind her. Kind of became a secondary read and a distant element, just looked really nice behind her there. So let's take a look at some of these images. So it's a lot of fun to work in direct light. Sometimes you just have to work in direct light depending on the situation, what you're photographing. So it's a good skill to have, it really is. The confidence to be able to make that happen. Hey, let's just talk about what we learned today. Erica, what did you learn today? Uh, it's hard to balance on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to balance on a plane. We learned with that strobe, you can make gorgeous light combining strobe with direct sunlight. Of course, we got the hat that worked for us. We kind of put that hat on her head, which gave us a shade area be able to get our light inside there and balance that and light her face. So it really kind of, kind of cheated. We created a shade area that we could light and then let the nice light on her face work. So it was a great day. It's definitely a different look, but one you can pull off if you've got a strobe head that's strong enough. 
that it can compete with the sun, which that B6 is. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. <laughs> you heard it right here from Erica. <laughs> we love the Baja B4s. Now there's a Baja B6. Win one. Go to thesunlens.com or Facebook. Don't estimate alone. Don't stand out in the cold all by yourself. Try to put together an estimate. Go to thuslandlands.com slash estimating. I've got a digital download that will teach you everything you need to know. You don't have to be alone any longer. Okay, you ready? Hi, this is JP Morgan and Erica. We're done for the day, man. We're not really done for the day, but we're saying we're done for the day. <laughs> okay, you ready? All right. I'll...